everybody it's brock and we got a brand new episode of all about we got some new fish in the tank and i cannot wait to show you what we got if you've been keeping up with the channel you know that back in november i basically caused a global warming in my tank which caused many fish and corals to perish basically heated up the tank to a temperature that was just too high for anything to survive i gave it a few months to recoup and honestly, it looks great again. The mushrooms are blooming, the levels are staying in check, and the fish seem just fine. I noticed my gold strike clown and the coal tang were being territorial towards each other. No matter where they were in the tank, they were always fighting. The tang was swinging its tail constantly, or if the other flip side, the maroon clown was chasing the tang because it got too close to its anemones. It was a constant fight. One of the ways to help alleviate this problem is by adding more fish to the tank. More fish in there gives them more distractions and it helps them just not be so territorial over just having two fish in the tank. My first one that I went with was the six line wrasse. These fish have always been so pretty to me with their stripes, the body color, and that bright green tail. I thought he would look great under my Hydra 26 LEDs. And boy, does he, he looks awesome in there. The fish is also great for tracking down pests, so my hope, I'll keep my fingers crossed, that maybe he'll go after some of those vermitid snails that are growing in the tank. My tank has a rock structure with a lot of caves and crevices that were a bit too small for the clown and tang to explore, but this wrasse is having a blast in it. It's fun to watch him swim between the rocks, in one hole, out the other. You'd think he's going into one spot, you try to find where he's going to come out, and then he ends up coming out on the other side of the tank like he is going around in this tank like it's nothing. I haven't seen any aggression towards the six line wrasse from the tang or the clown, but it seems like the six line wouldn't even care if he did. He goes about his business and nothing's going to stop him from doing it. So he seems like a tough one in there. Nobody's going to bother him. He's just going to explore, look for those pests, and just have a good time. The second fish I went with was a pair of gold head sleeper gobies. These things look awesome. I knew I wanted to get a new goby to replace the yellow watchman that I had for years and years. So I almost went with a diamond goby. But these gold heads were just too pretty in the LFS. I had to snag them. They were constantly following each other around in the tank. It was just fun to watch. They had great personality. Being in my reef now, they stand out like crazy. I was a bit scared when I initially put them in as I was trying to keep them on the left side of the tank, but they immediately dove for a cave right beside the main rose bulb anemone that my clownfish hosts and stays in for a majority of the day. Luckily, there was no aggression from the clown for them being down there in a cave literally right beside it. The coal tank does like to push them to one side of the tank at times, just showing its dominance, but there aren't any nipped fins. There's no real hard aggression that I've seen that's keeping them down in their hole. He just seems to be pushing them up there and then he'll go swim and do his thing. So you'll see in the video they tend to get up on that corner sometimes because the tank's just bothering them. Both of the fish took about two full days before coming out to eat. On the third day they really caught on to what was going on. Whenever I feed I usually turn off all the power heads so the fish know hang on something's coming. I fed three different kinds of frozen cubes just to try to entice them with different types of food. I had blood worms, spirulina mysis, and brine shrimp on hand that I was giving to them every day just to try to see what they liked. They're pretty much eating all of it. Every day they are out and ready as soon as I turn them power heads off. I've started feeding some pellets as well, flakes too, but the six line could care less. The goby seemed to enjoy them though. Whenever I go out of town, I usually will feed flakes and pellets in an automatic feeder. So I try to get them to eat that as well while I'm at home, just to make sure while I'm gone, they'll eat that. With adding new fish, there's always some precautions you want to keep in mind. These are the, usually the ones I like to do. Got to have a glass lid on, even if it's a fish that you think, oh, they're not going to jump. I still like to make sure they're on there. Have the plastic covers to cover up where the fish could jump in between the outtake pumps. 
have it just really nicely covered, especially with how prone gobies are to jumping in the new tank. So big thing, keep them glass lids on there because sometimes they can get a little skittish, especially if another one of your fish chases after them at the beginning, they are going to be jumping. I also will do sometimes like a water change before adding the new fish into the tank. This is going to help my other fish go into a bit of a hiding so that they're not immediately chasing the newcomers when they go in. Adding them at night and always rearranging a couple of rocks can also make a big difference for their territorialness from your fish that are already in the tank. That just helps them not see anything whenever the lights are out. The lights come on. Okay, there's new fish in the tank. No big deal. I'm going to go about my day. And as always, do a good acclimation, whether you're doing a drip tube or just pouring a little bit of water into the bucket or bag each time. Just be very careful with that, especially with newcomers. You want to make sure you're not just dumping them in there before they're actually used to the water yet. I think I did an hour, an hour and a half on these fish. Once it got to that point, temperature was the same as well as the salinity. So I knew at that point they'd be fine going into the tank. Hope y'all enjoyed seeing the new fish. I can't wait to see what I add next. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. I love hearing y'all's opinions and what to go forward with. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the video of some more shots of the fish in the tank. And I hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend.